I love making useful little things with my 3D printer. I got three of them I printed from my iMac. Stay tuned and I'll show you what they are. This video would not be possible if it wasn't for the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Let me show you the first one here. It's a design by Michael Kuntz I found on Thingiverse. It's for USB drives and SD cards and it mounts right on top of my iMac. I loaded it into Simplify 3D to slice it and it loaded like this. I don't want to put a bunch of support material underneath this, so I'm going to place surface on bed, touch the top of it, and flip this guy over. Now he's got words sticking out, so that lifted the whole thing. So unfortunately I gotta get rid of those. So I'm gonna lower this thing 0.46 millimeters. That brings the whole thing down nice and flat, so anything below the bed just won't get printed. The settings I used, I used my CR10 mini profile that I got from Tom Jackson, and I did a 20% fill, a layer height of 0.2, no supports needed on this, temperature 60 degrees on the bed, 215 on the hot end, and I print at 50 millimeters per second. So this should work pretty good. I clicked on prepare to print, and I looked at it. Everything looks good. The bottom looks nice and smooth, so it should stick to the bed. It said it would take 4 hours and 34 minutes. And here's the result. It came out really nice. The SD cards fit in really really good the usb drive is a little bit loose but it has the nice notch and it fits my mac perfectly now here's another feature to this thing see the camera on my mac if i want to block it while i'm doing video call i just slide it over it also blocks the microphone on top and then i can just slide it back when i'm ready to be back on camera double feature the next design actually started out as a camera cover it's by user fleer 007 and what i did is actually rework this to hold my caliper in Tinkercad. So here's the final design. Let me ungroup it and I'll show you what I did. So there's his original clip in like a grayish color. I noticed when I printed one, it didn't really fit. So I modified here by adding a block and then cut off his. I don't know why his didn't fit tight on my Mac, but it didn't. And then I put this other block across the top to cover that hole for the microphone. And then I cut a slot in here to hold the calipers. So here's the final design. So I'm gonna print this on my Ender 3. So I loaded it into Simplify 3D, used my Ender 3 profile, which is basically the same profile as the CR10 Mini. Printed at a 0.2 layer height, no supports. That hole is oval, so I shouldn't need them. Uh, 215 degrees on the hot end, 50 millimeters per second, all the same basic settings. And this thing is said it would take 52 minutes, so a pretty quick print. Here's the finished print hanging on the back of my Mac. It works great. The calipers slide right in, rest against that back edge. So this works as good as I'd hoped. Now here's the finished print from the Ender 3. It did a great job. I have a little bit of a nerd there at the top of the oval, but other than that, this thing came out really good. It fits nicely, and then you just drop the calipers in place. Occasionally it will hook on that back lip or even on the hole, so I may have to do a little more design work. I could put some double-sided tape on it, but I really don't want to do that to my Mac. So right now I just put my finger on it when I pull it out. But other than that, it works perfect. The last one was inspired by user Bagel Turf. It's a DVD slot protector. His was a little bit short and I could have stretched it, but it was just as easy for me to design one in Tinkercad so I have it for the future. I brought it into Simplify 3D, printed on my CR10 Mini, so it's all the same settings as you've seen in the previous one. No supports, temperatures are all the same. 50 millimeters per second. This is a real simple print, so after I sliced it, it said 40 minutes to complete. If you're wondering why I need this, it's because often I take the SD card and put it in the DVD slot because I'm not looking. So this just blocks it, so basically it says, hey idiot, you're going in the wrong spot, put it in the SD card slot. So it works really well for that, and I needed it. Three useful 3D prints from my iMac computer. And this is an older style iMac. They've got some of these for the newer style with the thinner back. If you've got ideas to add to this, let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for this one. If you like this type of video, check out the videos that are popping up. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon is always appreciated. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. If you guys print something like this, post it on Twitter. I'd like to see it. So that's it for this one. I'll see you next time.